fifth grade Excel lesson six and this is recognizing the symbols less than and greater than and arranging four digit four four digit numbers in order from least to greatest and from greatest to least filling in missing numbers and sequences counting by one two three four five six seven eight nine or ten so here we go the symbols less than that's this one right here because what you're saying I'm sure most of you know four is less than five so if this arrow points this direction it's called a less than symbol or the symbol greater than five is greater than four that's why this one's called a greater than symbol are used to compare two numbers each symbol points to the smaller of the two numbers or you can think of it as the crocodile eating the bigger number because he's hungry draw the correct symbol between each pair of numbers I think this should be pretty easy for you so go ahead and pause the video do one two and three Turn it back on when you want to see the solution. <clears throat> okay, this one, 4,000, 4,000, 300, 300. But this has 51, and that has 8. So that's the smaller number over there. The bigger side, the crocodile eats the first number. That's the greater than symbol. This one's 2,000. This one's 6,000. So already we know that the 6,000 number is greater. This one's 4,000, 4,000. 400, 400, 30, 40. 40 is bigger than 30, so the crocodile should be going that way. That's a less than symbol. Put each, uh, put each set of numbers in order from least to greatest. So what you want to do is take each of these numbers. It's a little confusing for kids at first sometimes to see the numbers. These semicolons separate the numbers. There are only four numbers here. One here, one here, here, and here. They go to the thousands place. So you're going to put those in order from the least number right over here to the greatest number right there. Why don't you go ahead and pause the video and do four and five and then turn it back on when you're ready for the solution. All right. So the answers, first of all, the least number is 6,138. I like to cross these out as I go too to keep track of which ones I've already used. This one's 6,369. The, the hundreds place shows us that it's getting bigger there. And then the hundreds place on this one is a 4, so 6,469 and 6,649 is the largest because, again, of the hundreds place. Number 5, we've got this, 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 and this. And the smallest number here in the hundreds place has a 2, so we're going to put 5,238, cross that one out. And then the next smallest one is 600 in the hundreds place, 5,641. And then we have two that have eight in the hundreds place. This one has a four in the tens place. That one has a one in the tens place. So you have 5,814 is the next biggest one, and 5,843 as the largest. The next direction say put the numbers in order from greatest to least. So this one, we're going to start with the biggest number down here, go down to the smallest number. Make sure you always read these directions when you're doing your daily work. Pause the video, turn it back on when you're ready for the solution. All right, we're looking for the greatest number here, 5,200. They all start with 5,200. So now we've got to look at the tens place. There's a 1, an 8, a 6, and a 9. The largest number is the 9. So I'm going to go 5,291 on the first number. Then we have an 8 here in that one, so that's going to be the next largest number, 5,285. And then the next largest number in the tens place is a 6, so 5,261. And the smallest is a 1, so 5,219 would be the smallest one. Number 7, looking for the largest number, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000. They're all 3,000. This one has 400, 200, 400, and 200. So these two right here have four in the hundreds place. One of them is going to be the largest number. This one has a two in the tens place. That is a four in the tens place. So the largest one is 3,442 because of that digit right there. So obviously this one would be next, 3,424. And then we have to pick between these two. Let's look at the tens place here and the tens place there. The largest one is the four. So 3,242, 3,224.
4 is then the smallest number right there. By what number is each series counting? So from go to 72 to 81, we're adding 9. 81 to 90, 9, 9, 9 more each time. It's counting up by 9. Everybody fill this in on your paper right there. And let's uh, go ahead and pause the video and try number 9 and see if you can figure out what it's counting up by. All right, so from 46 to 53, 53 to 60, 60 to 67. This is the easiest pair to tell how much it's going up by. If you can't figure it out in your head, you can always take two of the numbers that are right next to each other and do it as a subtraction problem. You don't have to do it this way, but uh, it might help you if, you if you get stuck on it. Instead of asking for help, then you can take care of yourself. So it's going up by 7, and you can see that pretty obviously from 60 to 67. All right, numbers 10 and 11 says indicate what number the series is counting uh, and fill in the missing numbers. So you're going to first figure out what the series is counting by and fill it in here, and then see if you can figure out what numbers are missing in the series. Pause the video, turn it back on when you're ready for the solution. Okay, the first one here tells you what it's counting by, that it's counting by 8, so plus 8, and then we have to add 8 to 89. Well, 8, 90 and 8 makes 98, so 89 and 8 is going to make 97. That's how I do that in my head. Counting down, counting down by what? From 58 to 51 is counting down by 7, which means to go this direction, we're actually going to be going up 7 from this. 7 plus 8 is 15, so 58 plus 7 is 65. And then 5 plus 7 is 12, so 65 plus 7 is 72. That's it. Thanks for watching.